How are we doing, everybody? Hola. Welcome to another episode of Getting Jiggly With It. I'm Will. I'm Madri. And what are we playing today? Smash Up. Smash Ups. We are playing the 10th anniversary edition of Smash Up, which came with a new big base mode. So we figured we'd go ahead and show how to play the big base mode. Uh, it looks like it's supposed to be a little bit quicker uh, variant, so that way you can kind of get through the game a little bit quicker, go through a couple rounds, um, and I don't know, maybe have some more fun. I, I don't. I don't know why this mode was created. Uh, some people have liked it. Some people have not liked it. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get that played. Uh, as for, you see, we're wearing our extra life shirts, of course. What do we support every time we do a stream? We support the kids of Children's Miracle Network. Yes. To extra life. To extra life. Para <coughs> los niños. The sick and injured kids at Children's Miracle Network. Uh, we did just recently have a milestone giveaway. Um, and those are those games you see back there behind us. We'll be doing a uh, drawing the winner sometime in the next week. Uh, we will probably, I think we're right now hit our $500 <laughs> milestone, which is another giveaway. So I've got to figure out what we're giving away for that one because I wasn't planning on us hitting it so quickly uh, after. I don't know why I was thinking that because I figured, oh, if people make donations to get entries. We would hit that amount. Uh, but however, we hit that amount because we did have a uh, previous donor that were painting his minis. He wants us to paint more minis. Uh, so, mm -hmm. of course, uh, that incentive is one that you can also uh, get by clicking the link down below, right? Right. Right. And Oddity will paint your mini. Actually, I've been painting most of these. Why does our camera get further that way every time I look at Like, I'm, like, on the edge, and then you have, like, tons of room, but our chairs are where they need to be. Somehow, I feel like this got moved to the left some, or right. I'll fix it one day. All right, here we go, guys. We'll go ahead and flip over the camera and give a brief rundown of how base mode works. Uh, if we get rules mistakes, that's because I screwed up and threw away the book. So I'm just going <laughs> off the rules that are on the back of the uh, panel. Also, if we disconnect the live stream or lose power, uh, this will be deleted and we'll do this all again. <laughs> so there we go. We are set up for a two player game of Smash Up Big Base. And why is that? Because we are two what? Smashers? Smashers. We smash two decks together too. So technically we're four smashers. Four smashers. Um, so same rules apply. You set up your deck, uh, two different factions. I am skeletons and sheep. And Audrey is mermaids and... Soccer players. Soccer players. I think they call it the world all-stars um, as their faction, right? Does it say down at the bottom? No. It does not say at the bottom. Yeah, I think it's world all-stars is what they are. So as you can see, the other main the main difference is uh, the big base here in the center. So there are four sides to the big base. Uh, you're not going to score the big base at the end of each turn like normal. Instead, we're going to be taking our turns uh, over three round or three rounds basically, um, and then at the end of the third round, we're going to score for occupancy. The way the scoring works is. Uh, whoever has the most for the entire base uh, scores the overall points, three for first, two for second, since it's a two-player game. Uh, then you score each side, and the winner of each side gets uh, one victory point. So even if you technically lose the whole thing, you might be able to pick up some points uh, from the sides themselves. Uh, so we'll do that three times, then we go to the next scoring round. Uh, we'll do it three times again, then we'll go to the third scoring round, we'll do it three times again. So basically nine total rounds. Uh, the, at the, at each round, our base is going to, uh, flip over. Uh, we technically have 10 bases. No, we have three, uh, two, four, six, eight, nine. We have, actually, we have nine bases. That's weird, because normally you wouldn't have nine bases, because each faction only comes with two bases. So normally you'd have eight, but you need nine. All right, we've got nine, because I threw in the, the base that came with the 10th anniversary edition. So technically, I guess you would have to do that. I didn't even think about that. Or you'd have to shuffle and draw one again. Uh, the base is in the center. You will still do their abilities as long as their abilities can be done. Same thing with the cards. You'll do their abilities as long as their abilities can be done. Uh, when it talks about placing your cards or when you play your minions, you can only have one minion uh, spot per side. Hey, Peter S., how you doing? Uh, so you can only have one minion uh group per side i should say group so for example i took space number two here i could put as many minions as i want on space two but i couldn't take space three and space one as well uh, so you have to leave it open for the other players when you place you either get an ongoing ability like right here it says you have plus one power here so basically you get one additional power uh here one occupation which means when you play a card there uh you draw two cards you discard two uh and so forth so those are going to play as we play our cards 
It says move a minion. Uh, right here it says you remove a minion uh, to or from this side. Just means you can move it to another side, but the same restrictions occur that you can't take a second spot on a particular side, if that makes sense. Um, that's basically it. Everything else about Smash Up is pretty much the same. Uh, after our turns, uh, if it's not scoring, then we actually draw two cards at that point in time. Discard down to 10 and then wash, rinse, repeat until the uh, end of round. So end of round uh, is basically the end of turn abilities are resolved and then end of turn abilities end. And that's done at the end of round, not the end of turn. Yeah, because everybody everybody takes the player turns at the same time. So, all right, uh, there is my medal because what game did we play last? Villainous. 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 Mar Dis or Star Wars Star Villainous. Wars. One of the villainesses. Uh, and I won, so I got my medal. All right, so we do need to determine who goes first. So we use our 20 sided dexter line. Die. Yep, and I am odd. I'm always so odd. Always. Always, always. And Earthquake Wade rolls a. Mm, I'm going with that being a nine, the dots at the bottom. So yeah. That is a nine. That is odd. Uh, we'll just go ahead and put that on top of the uh, first player marker to show that I am the first player. We'll get to go first. So. Um. So on a player's turn, you only have the start turn and uh, play cards. So the start turn, I believe, is drawing a card. So I think we still get to uh, do the start turn. No, start turn is if one start abilities. Okay, so yeah, drawing the card is only going to happen at the end. All right, so just making sure that's all the same. Um... Okay, so this has a new ability called Bury, and because I got rid of the book, I don't know what Bury means. <laughs> oh, man. Bury? Yeah, I think what it means, I basically so can to... turn it face down, and then I can unbury it. Yeah, Bury a minion of power three or less from your discard pile, draw a card. Oh, okay. Uh... So, yeah, um, and let's read the Burry faction is, uh, do you know when, uh, you're announcing the winners for the giveaway? Um, probably depending on the storm, uh, we may film the video tonight or we may film it next time we stream, which would be next Tuesday. So we, and then we would post the video the next day. So somebody um, moved something, Molly, somebody moved something. So yeah, I don't know what Burry, Burry does. No, 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 no. Cause it, it, it's in the, in the rule book that I got rid of. Unless maybe one of the old factions used to have the word Burry. Tornadoes, vampire, gargoyles, sheep and yeah, sheep's in here. Uh, where's terms? Here we go. Uh, uh, card clarifications. Yeah, it wouldn't be in here. I don't know why I threw that book away. I <laughs> uh, didn't know you had a storm coming towards you. Yeah, it's Florida. <laughs> Storms are just a fact of life, I believe. Now. Yeah, that's not good. Um, let me see real quick if they have it on BGG. Now, Peter, you left a, a comment. Which game were you entering for? Because I don't, you just left a, 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 a comment saying Chungus, but I don't know which of the three games you were trying to reference. We misheard that.
Yeah. Whoops. It's Ooh. okay, Beanie. She wants to get there. Yeah, so much. So Bella is scared. It's okay, my lord. It's okay, my beta. Do I get my contracts? Will you, find, will you find it boring? I don't know. Somebody else is saying they have the same thing about the I Titans. And then had to look up how the bury mechanic works from skeletons. It didn't have anything that used it. So, yeah, I do have to look up in here what the bury mechanic. Oh, here we go. Burying. It was in. Oops, you did it again. How to bury. To bury cards, place it face down beside a base facing you. Um, you don't show the others unless it says bury itself. You may bury a card in ability. Allows it. Bury card is not affected by abilities. The bury card is controlled by a player who buried it. Uh, Consider the owner until it is uncovered or discarded. Players may look at buried cards. Um, then we have to look at one time. Uh, each player may uncover one of the buried cards at the start of the turn. A player may also uncover a card uh, when ability allows it. Buried card is uncovered. Its controller may plays it as an extra card. Do you play it on the same base or on a minion on that base? Or simply resolve and discard it as appropriate. Resolve just if playing from hand. Uh, scoring break cards uh, do not themselves have power nor presence to help break or win a base. Well, mine did. My, my buried cards actually have a power. So I'm guessing there used to be buried cards that didn't have powers. Okay. So yeah, so basically what it, it allows me to do is um, I can bury the card and then when I uncover it, which I can do at the start of my turn, um, it allows me to uncover another buried card. Uh, and the reason for that is because I have like another card uh, action, bury a minion of three or less from your discard pile. So basically I bury him. And then when I bury this other guy, then I can unbury him to unbury both of them. So he's basically bringing the other guy back with him. Uh, I didn't know Starbs. Uh, storms are not lovely over in the UK, and we don't get them. Sometimes we get thunderstorms. Uh, that's quite bad. Yeah, you right now. Everything. Yeah, right now it's thunderstorms. <laughs> uh, we will eventually be getting um, hurricanes. Hurricane season, yeah. And tornadoes. Uh, so I'm going to do here one occupation. So for me, I'm making my cards face this way, uh, and you'll make your cards face that way. Even if you put it on my side, just for clarity. For All right. So that says I get to draw a card. Uh, and then I get to take an action. Uh, oops, we forgot to see what the base is. Oh, that might help. <laughs> oh, we have completely messed up this stream. All right, so the numbers don't matter in base base mode, only the uh, action. Uh, when this base scores, if the total power here equals this base's break point, uh, the winner gets an additional victory point. So, if the total power is 18, then the winner gets one victory point. So we still use that number for the purpose of that rule, but, but that number means absolute. these mean nothing. That means nothing from a gameplay. Mm. All right, so then I get to play an action. After minion is uncovered here. All right, so I'm going to play this to the base. Um, I don't know where we play it to the base. I'll just, I'll just play it to my guy. That's fine. Um, so basically this right here says ongoing after minion is uncovered here. I can place a plus one power counter on it special. After this base scores, bury this card on another base. So basically this is going to allow me to <laughs> bury this on the next base that comes up. It's going to stay in the game the whole time unless you can get rid of it. All right. So then now you play your cards. Give Bella love. Oh, uh, yeah, she needs it. She's. She does not mm -hmm. like the thunder. She's got her, she got her uh, calming treats. It was, I hate to say it, it was slightly better when she couldn't hear. <laughs> she was having trouble hearing because she had an ear infection. So like when the thunderstorms come through, it didn't bother her one bit. And the fireworks didn't bother her one bit. But now, well, <laughs> It says, do it, do it this way. You can do it this way, the way it's pointing towards you. Oh, your other minions here gain plus one point until the end. 
the end of my turn? No, yeah, I can't play more, right? Well, no, one you can only play one minion per turn. Mm. So you kind of want to play her After I have on, no, on round three. Once I have other minions. At that location, yeah. So mine, here, we'll do it this way. My, my cards have the text towards it, and your cards will have the feet towards it. If that makes sense. Feet, head and shoulders, knees and toes. Mm. After this minion goes to the discard pile from play, draw a card. Yeah, just do it this way. I get that. This will work. Yours face that way, mine face that way. That's what I was doing. I know. I I corrected you after correcting me. <laughs> okay. Uh, the only problem with that is we can't we can't see the number. No, we know we know which cards you're <laughs> we, we know we know we know which cards you're using. soccer players and still need this. Um so you can play yeah in action. Transfer section to another base to move one. I don't get the move to another base. It's this is have... another side. When it says another base, okay. it means another side. Yep. To move one of your minions from here to yeah, there. Yeah, that, that doesn't do you any good because you only have one minion right now. That's me only in action. Yep. So I'll pass on. Yeah, you probably should have played on a draw a card option then. All right, so we did that. We did that. So now we both draw two cards. Even and if I... Yeah, you draw two cards. And you can have a max hand size of 10. All right. Uh, so end of the round. So end of the round abilities uh, effect. There are no end of round abilities. That goes to one. Uh, so this. Oh, wow. Well, actually, this didn't even come into play because we're not going to be scoring the base. So that didn't even matter. All right. Uh, what's the new ability? During your turn, other players' minions here add one less power to their controllers. Totally. What? Other yeah. players' minions here add one yeah, basically. less power to whom? Huh? To whom? To their controllers' total? Yes. To the controller. To the controller's total. Us. Okay. Yeah, so during your turn... Again, this this base ability is going to have no impact because there's no end of round scoring. And they said that some of the bases and some of the some of the characters don't work with this mode. So this base doesn't take it because normally, remember, you would score the base at the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. We're not scoring the base until the end of round three. Okay. You see what I mean? So that doesn't actually play effect because the scoring doesn't happen. Mm. I really don't like any of my minions. Mm. So I'm going to play Ram. Um. Oh, I can't do that side. I'm already on that side. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. So playing him there, uh, on occupation, put a plus one counter on up to two of your minions. Two. An action. I'll do this one here. Uh, move one of your minions to another base. Um, draw a card, you may play an extra action. Um, and then put the ram here. Uh, one occupation, play another, an extra minion, cost two or less here. And then <clears throat> I get to draw a card. And then I get to play an extra action. Um... Um, I'm going to play uh, an action. Play on a base ongoing after the power of another minion increases. 
Your minions here gain plus one power until the end of the turn. I'm I'm thinking that's how you play the the base modifiers is it would be on your side that you've got characters. Uh, so technically, you read the card as blank, i.e., no text, and just in your turn, those actions you just explained, to Audrey. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So if yours if yours increases, then mine increases as well. So if you play anywhere that says get plus one power to that to that person, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna play this one. I'm going. Let other players' minions here add one less power to their controller's turn. Uh, we have now plus one power. Occupation play and extraction. Okay. All right. So, so one going. Other players' minions here so, add one less power. Yeah. So I just have to subtract. So this one. Well, no, don't don't take it off because we'll we'll subtract it. Oh, after. Yeah. Okay. Once once we go to scoring. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to put him under cover on my turn. But the buried. Yeah, he's buried now. Because every time I uncover, un every time I uncover him, he he gets plus one. Hmm. I need more minions, better. Well, you can, yeah, you gotta do an action. Play on a base. Transfer this action to another base to move your minions from here to there. This one? Oh, play on a base. Okay, so it, it basically allows you to move from base to base. So if I want to play it here, yeah. just like that? Yeah, you play so you it can there. Move this one later. So yeah. now, yes, if you want, you can move this one to another base. Uh, and when you do, that minion gains plus three power until the end of the turn. So, like, you'd want to do that at the end of this, at the end of three. All right. Uh, ooh, that was a big, big, big thunder. It's just being my beanie beans. It's just being sweetie. That almost kills me. All right. All right. So, all right. So we get uh, draw two cards. All right. Um. So I'm going to play my Gravedigger here. Uh, ongoing, basically, um, after I bury or unbury, um, then I can draw a card. The thing is, is I think uh, when I read it, the unbury has to happen at the start of my turn. So technically, I would have unburied him before I would have played him. However, um, because I unburied him, you get plus one. And then for action. All right, I'm gonna do this. Uh, choose another player. Audrey. What do you mean? <laughs> Reveal a random card from their hand. I'm gonna... Um, this one. Um, action. Choose a minion power three or less. You may move it to another base where you have a minion. It doesn't add its power to its controller's total until the end of the turn. Play an extra action. Mm -hmm. Let me place a card from my hand into their hand. Mm -hmm. No. You can keep, you can keep it. Okay. Do that now. Oh, we forgot to get it. I keep forgetting. Necessite in the Weibo base. Uh, after the first time you play a minion here during your turn, you may play an extra. Ooh, I can play an extra action or draw a card. So, did I want to play an extra action? No. So I will draw a card.
So this has three right now, right? Yes. Because of this. So here. It's okay, BGB. Your other minions here gain plus one power until the end of the turn. No, oh, so it's just till the end of the turn. Which will yeah. happen which will happen now because we're gonna score. <laughs> this is, technically whenever it says end of the turn, it means end of the round. Okay. Mm. So now would be when you would want to use this base's ability. That base's ability? Yeah, because remember that one, if you move that minion, it gets plus three to the end of the turn. So basically you'd want to move that to this side or that side. This side, you would be more than my, both both sides will be more than me, because I'm at four here, I'm at four there. Plus three. So this one? Yeah. That side and that side, you'll beat me on both sides. All right, so you get plus three. Uh, and then because of, um, after another minion moves from here to another base, um, move this minion there as well. Uh, which one's the one? Oh, here it is. Uh, move this minion to another base. Uh, no. Which one is it? This one. Wait, anyways, after the power of another player minion increased, your minion here gained plus one power. Okay, that's the worst. I was looking for the one that I, I was trying to do. So it's that one. Okay. And then you... Did you play an action? No. Did you play a minion? I, yeah. Yeah, yeah there. Is. Okay. Uh, choose a minion power to three or less. You may move it to another base. Where do you have a minion? Uh, it's not really going to do you much good because... You only have minion here and here, and moving her, she's now at five, so you can't even move her. Okay. Pass. Oh, uh, the first time you play a minion here during your turn, you may play an extra action or draw a card. So you, technically, you can draw a card. Because of this one? Yeah, when you played her. Action! Kaiju play conflict. two extra actions. But you didn't want to play any of the actions in your hand. <laughs> Say. Yeah. So um, you just you just keep it in your hand. All right. So now we're gonna score. Um. So for total, we have I've got two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have seventeen. And you have how much? <laughs> five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay. All right. So I get three victory points. And Adri gets two. All right. Uh, now we score each side. So I definitely have that side. So I get... Molly! What is she... She's... She's... Casper is here. Molly, leave Casper alone, Molly. So I got that one. I win this one. Um, you win those two. All right. Um, and then everything gets discarded. So I'll take yours to your discard. Oops. Todo, todo? Yep. And all mine come to my discard. Um, and then this gets buried under the base. So it's buried. All right. Do we so, keep the same cards? Yep. Um, and then we still still draw two cards. All right. And then first player moves to you. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I think we're tied, aren't we? I oh, know you got four. I'm one ahead. One ahead. One ahead. You
Okay, I'm playing her here. Okay. That is talent. You may move this mission to another base. They then you may move another player's mission. Minion. Of, minion <laughs> of power three or less to this mission's base. Minion. To this minion's base. <laughs> I can say a mission. Oh my god, there's no minions here. Uh, what's the pastor do? After the first time you move a minion to this base each turn, move another minion from here to there. Okay. It, it's a movie moving. It's a moving one. All right. You have an action? Yes, I have an action. Hello. Can't play one yet. I can't play it yet. Okay. Um. I'll play the ram. Oh, forgot. I'm Barry. Uh, I'm gonna play the ram. Uh, one occupation. Draw a card. Uh, talent. I can move the minion uh, to a base. And then I can return a minion of two or less to that base to my hand. And then action. Mm. Oh, no, no. Uh, I'm going to play Spooky Scary. Uh, bury a minion of power three or less uh, from your discard pile. So I'm going to bury him here. And then draw a card. All right. So that was that. Here. And draw two cards. Get us a new place. Um, oh, uh, when I played there. Oh, that was moving bases. Uh, on your turn, you may bury a minion of power three or less from your discard pile here. I think I missed the burying. The burying bury training. just the bury is it's face down, and then at the start of your turn, you can flip it back over. My my characters have benefits when I unbury them, like they can get plus power and stuff mm. like that. So yes, you can bury one of your cards, and then just flip it over. So you can do this right now. So on your turn, you can bury one of your minions, it's three or less, from your discard pile. You'd want to leave that first, so you don't forget to do it. Thank you. Molly. Molly. Casper doesn't want to play. Leave him be, sweetie. I'm on. Oh, bury a card. So you don't um. forget to do that. Three or less. Whatever I want. Yeah, just you're just burying it on the base here. Now I play a minion. That's better than that one. Okay. Yeah, so that didn't count as playing a minion. Well, you were not. activating the ability. Molly, leave Casper alone, please, sweetie. So I will have I can play this one here. Yep. After this base course, you may bury this minion on another base. Oh, so you do have bury. See? Oh, because you've got the mummy. Okay. So the all stars have Molly. Oh, what? she's fine. No, well, somebody's hitting the hitting the camera. The camera's in we are earthquake. Oh, it's Molly then because she's there. I thought. Yeah. It's Molly. Yeah. Okay. And um, action. So. Although I don't know how that would technically work. I guess you would bury it and because it's buried it wouldn't get discarded as part of scoring because that this is what this says after the base scores bury this one another base which is technically the next base that comes up at least that's the way we're playing it okay 
action. Draw two cards and place two plus one power counters total on your minions. All right, and then you get two plus one power. We well, have to have up to ten, right? One, two. Well, no, the the discard is at that phase, so you discard during the draw phase. So you can have more than ten in your hand during mm -hmm. the game. All right. Um. So. But this one is here. Yeah. So I'm going to play the, uh, another graveyard. Uh, plant a base, talent, uncover one of your buried cards here. Uh, if it's a, woo! That one got me. Place a plus one. Uh, and then here, uh, after minion is uncovered here, place a one power counter on it. It's okay, baby. And then... Lay down. Lay down. I'll do the revenant. Yeah. So he basically, I can pull him from my discard pile, but he's technically not in the discard pile. All right. So that was. Was that third? Was that the third round? Round one, round two. Yeah. So that was that was third. That's it. We have three minions out. I meant, meant we went three turns. So that's it. All right. Uh, scoring now. Um, add up yours. I'll add up mine. Three. The buried counts? No. Buried doesn't count. Buried is just buried. Three. Seven. Eleven. Seven. So. Tres para Adri. Y cuatro para mí. All right, um, and then you have two sides, so you get two, and then I have two sides, so I get two. All right, um, everything goes away. Wait, why do you not to? No, stop. Todo. Yep, well, except for your buried one. Um, and then after this base scores, you may bury this minion on another base. So you have to bury him on another side. Or you can. I, haven't, I don't know why you wouldn't. You just bury him on another side. So at the beginning of your turn, you can unbury. Basically, that's, that's all it means. Is at the beginning of your turn, you can unbury and flip it over. Where's your discard pile? Oh, hang on. All right, so this is the last round. Right. Um, after this is played, each player may move one of their minions to here. If played during setup, place it and shuffle it back into the deck, which just means it's, we're, we're just going to take it as being blank because it doesn't do anything. I think we forgot to change it once. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we should we should have already been through six bases. <laughs> All right. Um, so I was like, well, there's only three bases left. Uh, Boneyard. Once during your turn, after a minion you own a power three or less goes to the discard pile from another base, you may bury it here, which is not going to happen because nobody's going to get discarded. All right. Uh, so draw two cards. I draw one then. No, you draw two and then discard the ten. Um, so I'm going to play him here. Uh, I can bury this minion. Uh, and then I get to draw a card there. And then, no, I don't want to move that. Ah, I had a combo I was going to do. Uh, I'm going to play this. Uh, to follow or not, uh, can I see your discard pile for favor uh, and it says i can play one of your actions i'm going to play fighting spirit so draw two cards and place two plus one power counters on my menu all right 
Um, return it and draw another card. Holy cow, I got a lot of cards in my hand now. <laughs> During your turn, after you play an action that directly affects this minion, you may play an action that directly affects this minion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not an extra action. action. <laughs> so you get to do something to that minion twice. Mm -hmm. So... I can't... It has to be in the same turn. No, During ongo your ongoing. Turn. Ongoing. Okay. Oh, and you can unbury your bars now. At a base. Or maybe you can only unbury one at a turn. Let me let me let me double check the bury. It's one one or as many as you want. Um, one card. One card at the start of turn. Um, so which which one did you want to uncover? This one, the siren, or that one? It really doesn't matter this turn. The siren. Okay. I was wondering why I had cards that directly said unbury things, and it's because it allows me to unbury more than one. Oh. I'm playing an action. Yeah. Technically, I should have been moving the gravestone around because each side is considered another base when it's talking about bases, but I would have done the same thing. So my action is... Yes. Play two extra actions. So I cannot play anything on your buried minion? Buried minions no, are buried not... buried minions are... Yeah, they're not really in the game. <sighs> not really in the game. Uh... Mom got home. Choose a base where you have a minion. Each other player must play a minion there of power three or less as an extra minion or reveal a hand with no such minions. Cancel those minions' abilities until the end of the turn. You may play an extra minion there and an extra action. I just don't have good actions. I, I think they're I think they're meant to be comboed. And, I, and, and again, it may not be working with this base mode. So there, that made me, so I had to put this, I have to put a minion here. Mm. Yeah, so I'll just put it there. Um, so that allows you to play a minion there as well. And another action, so technically you still have two more actions. Do you have a minion three or less? Oh no, yours yours just says a minion. It, it oh, doesn't say oh, it has okay. to be three or less. For me, it had to be three or less. This is basically just a way for you to get an extra one. So I'm gonna play this minion. 
I don't know. Okay. Search your deck for an action and place it into your hand. So now you can find the actual action you want. You want that one? You want You want this guy. Because he's the one that gives you the plus power counters. Now, you should have two of that, I would imagine. No. Nope. Right. So you have to see, is there another action in there that mm -hmm. you want? There might only be one fighting spirit. now so you you play judgment you still have two more actions okay. if you don't have them more just just you don't have to play them unless you just want to get them out of your hand which you're gonna probably have to do once we go to the draw phase anyways. Need... the the moving from base to base isn't to honestly isn't as effective in this mode because normally you're moving from base to base so you can break that base on your turn. Yeah. Because you're not breaking the base until both, until we get to here, the movement doesn't play a factor until here to, to get more uh, points on a side than, than, than your opponent. Like you did when you moved this one from here to here, you took this base from me. So then I didn't get any points for that side because you were able to move her to there to there. And then I just got one from this side and this side. But when it gains three, me three like points or power until the end of the turn, it's, it's not. Just... It's not useful until here. Those cards are not useful until the third round because that's the only time they're going to stay during scoring. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah. Which is weird that that the the factions you're playing and the factions I'm playing are the factions that came with this new big base, and it doesn't seem like they're designed to work well with this big base. Play on another player's minion. After the first time, each turn a minion is played here, draw a card. You probably want to put it on this side because that's the side where, that, gonna put where I'm doing stuff, yeah. Oh. Yeah, we'll just put this right there. Okay. One more action. <laughs> No, pass. No? Okay. Boop. All right. Um, so I'm going to play this guy there. I'm going to bury him. Um, I'm going to unbury this guy. Which gets him plus one. Uh, play with another player's minion ongoing after the first time each minion you get to draw a card um then for my action and play you shall not pass <laughs> you shall pass. Instead of you shall not, it's you shall pass. Oh, mm -hmm. I forgot we went to the next round. Make sure that uh, this doesn't activate. Uh, the first minion you play here during your turn gains plus two power until the end of the turn, which isn't going to matter. Uh, I'll move him to... 
um, here, uh, which allows me to play an extra minion of two or oh, never mind. Here, um, I forgot I have this special action here. Uh, special on my turn, um, you may bury this card from your discard pile. Um, I'm gonna bury him. And then uh, I get to play an extra action. I'm gonna play um, to follow or not to follow. I'm gonna do that one, the, the, that one. Uh, draw two cards and get two plus one counters. Sheep. Uh, after another minion moves from here to another base, move this. Oh, he's gonna. He follows other minions around. Okay. Do that in them. Back to you. Right, so we're gonna uncover that, I imagine. Yeah, technically this wouldn't even. Well, actually, that would kind of matter because. No, it's the first minion, so no, it really wouldn't matter, because you would get plus two, I'd get plus two. Yeah, the base's abilities don't seem to do anything. I'm not sure if that's the side you want to actually put, try to take from me. You currently own these two sides. I've got three minions there, and when these two unbury, they're both getting plus one. Other players' minions here Just add bus. one less power. Yeah. No, we only have you only have two more minions you can play. One more, I, and you can put it, this. put it, put it there. This is fine. You can put it there, because that's going to give her plus one, that makes me minus one. So that puts her at three, and puts me down to three. So now it's a tie. So then you just need another one to take that one from me. That's a minion, so next time I have another chance to put another minion. So now I play an action. Well, or if you have an action that lets you move a minion. What about this? One of your minions gains plus three power. No, 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 you wanted it on this turn. <laughs> well, yes, you can play that next turn on that minion. Yes. That'd be perfectly fine. Choose of the two minions of the same faction. Mm hmm. They, they are not the same. Until faction. the end of the turn. Yeah, all of your stuff is end of the turn. I told her we were streaming. I'd call. We we're almost done. I'd call. <laughs> no, I don't get... no, she said she got home. I have nothing to play. Yeah, all of your stuff is end of turn. It, like I, I said, I don't base. think it's made for this mode. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely, that's Other definitely players, a problem. players' minions me. here have minus one power. Until the end of the turn. No. <laughs> no. Talent. Transfer. No, talent. Talent? Oh, that's its talent of the card. Transfer this action to another base. So at any time you can move so it around. So I can play it first and yeah, all the minions the, will have minus one. That one. Again, you're not going to reduce this one. I've got two more minions here, and I can tell you it's five, okay. and they're both going to get another plus one. Yeah. So this makes, yeah, so this is your base. So that's making them basically only worth two. So now you control that base. You you have three. I have two on that base. Let's see. All right. So final card, final round. All right. So I'm going to play... Uh, dig them up action, which allows me to actually, no, I'm not playing that action. I'm going to unbury this guy. Uh, when you unbury this minion, you may unbury another minion at this location. So then I'm going to unbury this guy. Both of them get plus one. That's why I was saying there's no way you were going to reduce me enough to where I wouldn't win it. And you would. Um, Press your man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so... So I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna play Spooky Scary. I was reading it wrong. Spooky Scary is take a minion from my discard pile and bury it. Um, I'm not occupying that yet. I have to play it. Um, so yeah, I'll play Bo Peep. Now I'm occupying it and place one plus counter on two of my minions. One, it says one, two. And two, yeah, and two minions. So they have to be two seven. All right, that is it. Oh, hang on. Um, on your turn, if you have a minion here, you may move another player's minion too. Okay, so you can just move another player's minions. But it, it moves them to that spot. So basically, you have to move a minion to where one of your minions are. So, I just play now my minion in my action. Mm -hmm. This is the last one. Mm -hmm. the, forever. Mm -hmm. So here I have, you have here two, three, four, five. Minus two. Minus two. I have here three. two, three. Mm -hmm. Okay, we want to do this to make it. But the other one is not a minion. No. No. I forgot. So here you have five and six, and you have. Oof, no. Those yeah. are meals? Yeah, they're yours. Two, so three, four. four. Okay, so I play this one here. Alright. The ability activate. Once each turn, when a standard call action directly affects one or more of your other minions here, you may choose this minion to be affected the same way. Okay. Yeah, that's what that that's what that other card is, that plus power card, because then it gives that. Now, again, now you want to do your end of turn. You want to figure out which one of your end of turn cards is going to give you the best. So, for example, that plus three, if you play that plus three to that, it's going to give plus three to both, right? Isn't that what that says? Plus three to one minion? One of your minions yeah. gains But three. then that girl, she copies it. Because she's a diva, she's going to copycat. So yeah, you want to play that there. So then you get plus three, plus three to the end of the turn. There we go. All right, so um, end of turn. So I'm going to, right here, before base scores, uncover one or more of your buried cards. Two. All right, so uh, you add up your numbers, I'll add up my numbers, and then we'll... All right, so like I said, this is minus two. Twenty-seven. Twenty-three. All right, so Audrey gets that one, so that's six. And then now we do the, and then I get, how much? I get four. So we'll trade in a one for a five. All right. Uh, now we score sides. So I have five, six, seven, eight. You have way more than eight. So you get one for that one. Um, I have three. You have three. So it's a tie. So nobody gets anything. Um, I have this one easily. And you have that one easily. All right, now we add up our points. I have 16 because I already I already already traded mine in. Point. 17. 17. Audrey wins by one. That last one, that one did it. <laughs> Audrey wins by one. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and flip over and give our first impressions. There you go, guys. All right, so the first thing is the components. Um, the only new components is it, it, that came in the 10th anniversary. You got this new coin, plastic coin, and it's for the goblins. Remember the goblins? When we played them, you had to flip a coin, so they gave a nice little coin for them. Uh, this board was new. 
Uh, they gave us more of the plus minus ones that came like in the Disney pack. Mm -hmm. So we just have a whole bunch of those now. Uh, otherwise, everything's pretty much the same. I mean, art, new art and things like that. Um, so what do you, oh, there was one other thing that came in, which was the art book, but it's back there and I can't reach it right now. But there, there was an art book too that kind of goes through how they made it. This is new. Yeah, that's new. The the new big ball, the because it's the big base mode. Yeah. So it's normal, the normal components. There's there's nothing good or bad about them. I mean, the, the little coin's kind of nice. Um, what about like the art? I like the art. My yeah. factions were nice. I always, I have always liked the cards of this yeah. game. I, yours have a lot, these do have a lot more text. And, I, yeah. and, and again, I think that has to do with the bloat that these types of games end up getting into as they start over bloating themselves. Um, because they want to make things more advanced for the players that have been playing a long time, but it does, I feel like, adds bloat. So, like, you're something, I mean, this one here, this, one. this, this girl here, she's got, like, a paragraph. I mean, if you guys can, if, it, if it'll focus on it, I don't know if it'll focus on it. But, yeah, that's, that's a paragraph. That's a, this one looks that, cool. yeah, so, and it's actually, it's almost all the mermaids. It's funny, because there's another mermaid card. They're just paragraphs. Uh, so, that was my only thing I noticed is, is, there was a lot of text. Um, some of mine had a little bit more text than usual, like the gravestone, um, which does make the text smaller too, so it can make it harder to read for, for individuals that have seeing impediments. Um, next are the mechanics. Um, so I understand the mechanics of what the, 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 the they were supposed to be doing. So like the Skeletons are all about burying and unburying to get more plus ones. I got that. The sheep appear to be all about a flock and following each other around from base to base. Um, yours were all about like it seemed like end end of round actions, right? Yeah. Um, or comboing off of actions like your your the world all stars seem to be like. I guess uh, thematically, team players, right? If this person does this, then this also gets that. If you do this or you play this, or if you play an action, you get an extra action. Like it, it's kind of that that teamwork thing. Um, so I get how they work. Unfortunately, in the big boss mode, that doesn't work very well because there's no end of turn, right? Uh, and end of turn effects end at the end of that particular round, right? So they don't take effect because you're not scoring the base. Um, so that was that was one big thing we noticed is like Oddity had all these actions and they technically didn't do anything for three rounds. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't do anything until the third round where she could play one of those actions to increase her her strength or something for that for that scoring. Uh, what about uh, for you the mechanics? But the mechanics of the cards, like did you I like mean, the, the cards and the, how they, their mechanics were? Or did you like the big base mode? I think I have to say that I prefer the standard mode. Regular, regular mode. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I the big, Also, I don't know if the big base mode really works at two players. Because there really wasn't much competition on each side. I mean, while the regular mode, we, we sometimes don't fight over a base that much either. You're still kind of prioritized to put something there to get points. But here, there's no incentive. I mean, you work for this at least. or Well, yeah, to get the two know. points on the base yeah. scoring. But here, there's no point. As long as I have a side, or two, if you have two sides and add two sides, I'm getting two points, you're getting two points. And if I put one character on a side that you have, I'm not getting any points unless I can somehow outscore you by putting the character there. Like you did here. You put your girl there and at least took the points away from me, right? If you had a three, you technically would have taken that side as well and gotten another point. There's really no incentive to take a base from somebody after they've already got four, five, six strength on it in, in this particular mode. Especially since technically you're probably at most going to play three, and unless you have cards that allow you to play an extra, four or five, like here, I had the one where I could play it from my discard pile, but that's it. I mean, that's all the minions you're getting for the entire round. You're not gonna get four uh, that often. Uh, but no, I agree. I think I like the regular mode. Um, do you think you'd like the way they would play or, or you would have to play them normally? Okay, my... Yeah. I would like to play them normally. Normally. I mean, I think that... I don't know what it is. I think that it didn't flow for me. I don't know if it was this this type of base or 
just the cards didn't go with the base or the cards didn't well, go well to like the two factions i think I, yeah well we found that before too sometimes two factions don't go good together i think it was like you would have had a card that said at the end of your you get plus five points to the end of your turn you would have looked and said okay we're at 20 20 strength right now i'm gonna play this action to be giving me 25 strength and break the base and then then i score right i think mm -hmm. you'd be playing more that way with these cards because that's how they seem to be um and then the other is the actions that are more for teamwork and, and i think like here all your minions get plus one to the end of turn right so if you have a whole team of soccer players out there you're gonna get a lot more plus ones to the end of the turn so yeah i think it would work a lot better uh in the other one mine i think worked okay in this mode because bury unbury um the sheep i don't think work as well because they're all about moving from base to base and i would get it if, if they moved me from base to base and i increased my strength but i don't increase my strength by moving they're just moving from base to base so they would just move from side to side and it really isn't doing me any good so like here it says after another minion uh moves from here to another i get to follow them to that location so i would have to play one here that allows me to move which black sheep does so black sheep after a minion is played here move this minion to another base so basically like if i had black sheep there too then when you played that i could have moved both black sheep and the flock somewhere else but mm -hmm. then the question is i'm still at six you're at two would i really move them off right so no i i think they're neat i, I like i like all the all the different smash up decks are different and unique um but i don't i don't I don't know if I, I think it was this mode. I don't I don't think this mode made it fun, any more fun. Uh, next is difficulty. Um, this mode I feel is easier uh, than regular Smash Up. However, like we mentioned, these decks are more complex because they're newer decks. So they have more vocabulary on them, like more things that you have to do. Uh, and I think because the decks are not optimized for this mode, it did make it more difficult. Like you were saying, yeah, what do I play? At the, uh, the end of the turn, yeah. Yeah, you're you're struggling. You're like, well, I don't have any action cards I can play. And then we, even yeah. when you were able to look through your entire deck for an action card, you couldn't play that action you pulled out of your deck, I don't think. I had two. I think it was two that would let me find actions. Mm -hmm. But I never had two good actions in my hand that I could play. I mean, it was because either there were not two minions together or something. So I, I don't know, something just didn't flow. Something happened, maybe. It's yeah, and no, it's so end of turn. Same thing here. It says you can play this and you get plus one until end of turn. Choose two minions, same faction and base turn. until end of turn. Choose a minion of power three or less. You move it to another base where you have a minion. If it doesn't add to its power to controller until the end of turn. End of turn. End of turn. End and then of it's, turn. Yeah, end but, of turn. Well, no, but here's... Play the, two extra actions. And like, then... Well, no, and then all of them, when you do most of these, all let you play another action afterwards. So I could see where you could really get a lot of pluses at the end of turn. So you could technically well, I, I be, be like, right, I'm going to play that one, that one, and that one at the end of the turn. And there you just added, what, uh, four, two to two minions, uh, plus one to another one, three more to another one. Like, you could add tons, but in this mode, it's only that one. So I, I think it is more difficult because you have to plan that out that, okay, here, I've got these actions in my hand, and I'm going to play this action, which gives me an extra action. And I'm going to play this action, which gives me an extra action. I can play this action, which gives me an extra action. And you have to do all that math in your head ahead of time, too, because you have to be like, okay, I'm going to add up all this. So I do this, that gives me three, and then I get four. And then so that puts us at 27, 29. Okay, that's going to break the base. I have more points. Okay, I'm going to play all these cards, right? And that's fun, right? It's like, ooh, combo, combo, combo. Mm -hmm. But it is difficult because you have to be able to analyze all of that. And in this mode, it doesn't work. In regular base mode, I think, yeah, that'd be really fun to play. Also, I think maybe these two were too similar. Like maybe if you had uh, skeletons and mermaids and I had all stars and sheep, then you would have had a couple more actions that weren't end of turn actions. I think because all yours were end of turn actions. And, I, and we didn't know. I honestly did not know. I was like, either they like soccer, I'll give her the soccers. Either they like mermaids, I'll give her the mermaids. I'll take the sheep and the and the, and the dead skeletons. I mean, that's, that's what I did. I uh, didn't even read what the cards did. Uh, next is fun at two. Um, so I already mentioned, I don't think this mode is very fun at two. I think it yeah. probably is really meant for like three or three or four. 
um, to play this particular mode. Because uh, there just isn't incentive to go anywhere else. Agree? Disagree? Agree, agree. Agree, agree. Odd that he says agree, agree. Even though she won. But you had fun because you won. <laughs> <laughs> no, I struggled a yeah. lot. Struggled a lot. Uh, theme. But I so thematically, this one, of course, it's not do we like the theme because this whole thing doesn't have a theme you like. You just smash everything up together and there's every theme imaginable. Space and aliens and mermaids and sheep. <laughs> um, it's do the, we more or less do the cards feel like you're playing that theme. Um... I get the skeletons. They were they were thematic, right? They're I buried and they're coming back. The sheep I get because they're following each other around and they're moving around like a flock or, or whatnot. Um, the all stars I think were good because they they wanted that teamwork, right? Have it have play more actions, movement, uh, minions that are together or or, or good stuff like that, right? They they yeah. They, but so did the, the mermaids. Mermaids. They, the mermaids, they were know. also a lot about moving. Move to another base. Or an adding and So yeah, they're like adding power. I don't know. Siren. The siren, I mean I get it. The siren song, it's making them weaker. Right? Um Charmed. You may move this menu to another base. You may move another player's menu. Okay. That kind of works too. Charmer. She's she's you know, the mermaids are drawing the sailors and stuff. So I guess I mean it kinda kinda works if you think about it thematically. Um, I don't know if it feels thematic. I don't think Smash Up ever really feels thematic. Um, it's more, do the characters' abilities feel yeah. thematic? Um, and I feel like my, mine at least did. Um, yours, I think we have to read into it. Yeah, because yeah. so far I don't find any. She didn't, she didn't find any of it thematically. All right, so theme, not so bueno. All right, guys, so there we go. That is... Uh, the big bad base version of Smash Up. Uh, let us know down below if you have played this version and what you think of it. Uh, if you want to watch more content, Smash Up, we've got the bigger, oh, well, Oddity's kind of uh, blocking it, but they're behind, in between the chair there, you can see the bigger, <laughs> geekier box. Uh, I can move. If you want to see any other factions, let us know down in the comments. Uh, and then what uh, else should they do to watch that video? Subscribe. Subscribe. And activate notifications. And activate notifications, know when we go live. Follow us on social media. Follow us on social media. media. And most importantly, donate para los niños. Para los niños with the links down below. We'll be raising money for the rest of the year. We'll have some more giveaways throughout the rest of the year. So until next time, guys. Adios. Peace.